Today, I'm gonna to teach you a very scalable way to build free backlinks. It's getting me results like this. So you can see the backlink profile is increased right here. And over time, so is the organic search. In fact, it's increasing like crazy. Now, what I'm gonna teach you today is how to get free backlinks. Many of these are super high authority, DR 90s, DR 80s. And I'll teach you my whole system for getting backlinks across 12 to 15 websites, including examples. Plus you can copy and steal my templates and I'll include them in my free course. Plus you don't need any expensive SEO tools to do this. So how are we gonna get so many backlinks? We shall be using helpareporter.com. Now you can sign up as a source and you'll get connected with hundreds of journalists. It's completely free. You don't need any tools. You can start building backlinks from today. But there's a lot of people who struggle with link building power. And that's why I made this video because I'm gonna show you with proof how we built backlinks across 12 to 15 client sites with Harrow. And here's the thing, some people say you can't get backlinks with Harrow anymore, it's just too difficult. But as you can see right here, you can get DR79 of DR51 backlinks. This was a client site of ours. You can see their results there. So they went from zero to 145,000 SEO visitors, which is pretty crazy. I don't sell Harrow link building anymore, so this definitely isn't a promotion for my services. And I'll come on to the reasons why later. But I just want to show you that this is possible. And Here's an example of my site. You can see some of the backlinks we're getting with Paro. And of course, you can see the results we're getting with this process. Now, what I can say is that most people fail to realize with Paro, you need a great system. And without that, you won't get any backlinks. And I'll come on to that later. Now, some people also say that they can't find relevant backlinks with Paro. Here's the thing, right? These links are so high authority and they're linking to your homepage. So you don't need your backlinks to be 100% relevant because you're getting DR90 and DR80 backlinks, DR50 backlinks that you can see May, June, July, etc. You don't need your backlinks to be 100% relevant. It's the same if you've got press coverage, right? If the BBC linked out to you, is that website 100% relevant to you? No, but would you turn down the link? Absolutely not. Because it's such a high authority link that it doesn't matter. Plus it looks more natural to Google because you're being quoted. As you can see, the link always quotes my name and the agency and it's kind of like PR. That's how you get a backlink from PR anyway. So because these are really high authority backlinks and because they're going to your homepage, it's okay to compromise on relevance because this is basically just press coverage, right? And all these backlinks are completely free. I didn't pay a penny for them. It's free to scale. You don't even need any expensive tools. And with Helper Reporter as well, you can sign up. A lot of people say yeah, this only works if you're a big potato, aka a big brand. But you don't need to be Charlie Big Potato to get backlinks from Harrow. Okay, I've been doing Harrow link building for years across many different sites. Way before anyone knew me, all the sites that I was building links for, and it's always worked. But it's how you do the link building that actually counts. And there's three things you need to focus on here. Let me show you. So when you've signed up for helperreporter.com, basically how this is going to work is you'll get a bunch of emails every single day like this. And then you just pick out the ones you can actually respond to like this. You find the queries and you send a response and you basically pitch journalists with your response. That's the easy bit. And if you're wondering what that looks like, here's an example, right? So you can see this is the typical template we use. You know, it's got email subject line name, blah, 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 very short, very straight to the point. You want to include link to your website, link to your headshot, at least a bit about you and some social media profiles if you have them. And let's be honest, you could easily create a response with ChatGPT or AI. You don't even need to write the process yourself. You could get VA to do it. And then you just respond to each of the emails that you receive every week from Harrow. I would recommend sending five to 10 responses a day. But there's probably a few people watching this who have tried Harrow and really struggled with it. So let me tell you what you're probably not doing, right? So one of the first things that you really need to do when you're sending responses for Harrow is that you track every website you're doing Harrow link building for. Let's say you've got a portfolio or three or five different websites you want to get Harrow backlinks for. And each week you track how many responses you sent, right? Because this is basically a KPI, as you can see here. So you would fill in a sheet like this and I'll include the template in my free course. Basically, you have your website down the left, the name of the writer, if it's you, you just put your own name. You have a link to all the responses you've sent, and I'll give you a template for that as well. It looks a bit like this. And basically, you would have who answered, the name of the Harrow query, category, media outlet, and the answer link. And you can actually see that out of the first 15 responses that we sent, only one got built, right? This one right here. So you might only have like a 7% conversion rate. 
like we did. But that doesn't matter because let's say you send 50 a week. Well, you're going to get two to three backlinks every week. And you can easily outsource this to someone else if you don't have the time. So you can get a virtual assistant to do it for you. You can hire someone to do it. You can give them the whole systems that we're talking about today and the tutorials and scale it up that way. And it really is a numbers game. That's what it's all about, volume. And this isn't anything fancy. If you actually look at this backlink we got, you know, it's a DR76, which is great. You can see that there's nothing special about that response, right? It's just got links to my social media profiles. It's got a bit of information about me and it's very, very simple and straight to the point. But that's the whole name of the game with Harrow. When you're pitching journalists via Harrow and you're replying to each of these emails, keep it short, snappy, straight to the point and create something where a journalist can read that and go, all right, this Julian Goldie lad seems all right. Let's copy and paste that straight into my article. Bing, bang, bosh, we're ready to go. And then I can just link to his website down there. And that's basically how it works. But you need systems that track everything along the way. And here's the other thing that most people don't realize. If you've done Harrow consistently like this, quite often, no one's going to tell you that they've actually added your links. You see that this column right here where it says notified of acceptance. Quite often, you build these links, but you won't get an email back from the journalist telling you your link has been added. So if I wasn't checking regularly, if I didn't have Google Alerts set up, if I wasn't checking my backlink profile regularly, then I would have never known that my Harrow strategy was actually working. And I think this is one of the big key differences here is that you may be getting backlinks from Harrow if you're doing it often and you don't even realize it. So you keep checking your backlink profile and bear in mind as well, this might take 30, 60, 90 days. Even I've had backlinks come in six months later after a response on Harrow, but you have to understand that with any type of link building, you don't really get any instant gratification. This is a long-term game. It takes time, takes consistency. It's all about volume as well. And that's why you might need to send 15 responses to get a backlink. And you might not even get notified when your backlink is built. In fact, quite often you won't with Harrow. But it works. The systems are very simple. And you just want to make sure you're tracking it in a system like this. Because if a backlink does come through, then you can refer back to when you sent the response, who sent it on your team, what did the answer look like, and that way you know the link has come from Harrow and you know which response on Harrow it actually came from. And by doing this, you can track everything and you're scaling in a way that helps you understand what your conversion rates like, how many pitches do you need to send to get backlinks, and you can tweak and test and improve your response rates and your conversion rates along the way too. And then every week, whether it's you doing it, whether it's your team doing it, you track the responses, you track how many pitches you've been sending each week, and you just consistently do it over time. And that way you can scale and you can get tons of high DR free backlinks like we did for many different clients. We were doing this for 12 or 15 clients at the time, and it doesn't cost you a penny. And then you just fill in the sheet as you go. And then on your response tracker for each website, you track who answered, query, the category, the media outlet, the answer, what URL it was actually published at when it was accepted, the DR of the backlink, if there's any notes from the person doing link building for you. And what I would recommend as well is that you build up a database of potential journalists who would link to you again, because if they link to you once, they might link to you again, or they might link to other pieces of content, but you're building that relationship. On top of that, you can store it in a database like this, because if you're building links for multiple websites that you own personally, or if you're building Harrow backlinks across multiple clients, you can create a database like this where you can reach back out to that journalist later, build a relationship with them, get featured in future articles, and just consistently stay in touch. And what you do is you track the name of the journalist, the media outlet, the journalist's email address, the domain rating of each backlink you got, and any sort of notes about the journalist or the media outlet that you want to get in the future. And that's really what this is all about, building a very simple but scalable system that helps you get as many backlinks as you want. And you might be saying as well, I want more than two or three backlinks per week from Harrow. Well, here's the thing. This is inputs and outputs, right? So if I look at my response tracker, and let's say you filled this in for your own website, and you say, right, well, out of 15 responses, I only get one backlink back, right? So that's a 7% conversion rate on your link building from Harrow. So now you know the inputs that are gonna get the outputs, aka what you need to do to get as many backlinks as you want. So let's say you want two backlinks per week, or you just 
send 30 responses per week. Maybe you want five backlinks per week. Or you just figure out how to improve your approach, some more social proof, better responses, better templates, even a better writer that's writing the how responses for you. And all these things can actually improve how many responses you need to send to get the backlinks that you want. But either way, you just figure out by tracking all the data, having the right systems, having the right templates in place, you know your numbers, you know your conversion rates, and you can tweak and test them and improve them along the way. Now, there's a few things I would recommend based on my SOP, and that is to make sure, of course, when you're writing responses to Harrow, you've got to keep the quality high. If you're writing them, that's easy for you to control. But if you've got a writer working for you, then make sure you're checking their responses every week. I would also always recommend sharing some personal stories, right? So by storytelling in your Harrow responses, that's going to separate you and differentiate you from everyone else. And let's be honest, most of us learn through stories. That's part of the secret. If you look at any of my YouTube videos, I'm always telling a story in terms of the case study, the results, etc. And that's crucial with Harrow too, especially if you're pitching to someone else. Now, typically the format of submitting a Harrow response to journalists is going to be the same every single time. It's going to look something like this. It's going to be like, hey, my name is blah, blah, blah. I'm replying because blah, blah, blah. And then you insert your initial points, quick story, and then let me know, blah, blah, blah. And then all the contact information over there. That's going to be the same template for every single hire response. And you would just personalize this with whatever information you want to submit to journalists, right? Now, here's the interesting thing. Because you can take the template, and then you can take the query for Harrow, for example, like this. And um, we can use that format to create a Harrow response. Let me show you how. So you would basically say to ChatGPT, using this Harrow template, and you insert your template there, reply to this Harrow query, and you paste your query there in 100 words, right? You want to keep it short. You want to keep it concise, etc. And then basically using the original template that we talked about, you could create Harrow responses and automate them very quickly. And then you give that to a virtual assistant. And they could submit 10 or 15 responses an hour for your website. Now, this is just an example. I definitely wouldn't recommend doing this for health related topics, but you can see how the process works. It'd be better for business related topics or productivity, et cetera. But basically you can see how it works. You just fill in the name yourself, but it's used that template. It creates something very customized. And I will include that free prompt in my course so that you can get instant access to it. And that's basically it. That's how to scale up, get as many free backlinks as you want from very high DR websites. Using Harrow, you don't need expensive tools. You don't need to pay for links. It does take a lot of time and effort and persistence, but that's the same for any sort of link building. And this is how you do it. Now you might say as well, if Harrow is so good for link building, why did we stop as a link building agency? Why do we just focus on outreach instead? Here's the thing, selling Harrow link building to clients is not ideal and that's why we stopped. You can scale up to like 10 or 15 websites. You can't do it for hundreds of websites and it becomes very hard at that point. And also it can take months before clients get the backlinks in like I talked about. So it's hard to hit their deadlines and budgets on time. Plus there's lots of manual work and moving parts involved. So we just found that there were better ways to build backlinks at scale with outreach, with the skyscraper technique, etc. And a lot of our clients only wanted contextually relevant links, not links from Harrow. So that's why we only focus on outreach. But if you want all the systems that I've talked about today, the prompt for chat GPT, the response tracker that looks like this, the pitch tracker that looks like this, all of these templates and systems I'll give to you for free in my free chat GPT course. And if you want to learn how you can get more backlinks to your website and scale up your SEO traffic, feel free to book in a free call. I'll leave a link in the comments section and we can discuss together your website, your results, and how to get you more traffic. Thanks. Bye-bye.